Octopus 4 is spellbinding. The plot lines are shocking. It's an incredible mix of intrigue and action and violence. Season 4 is dramatic. It is suspenseful. It's dark. The Octopus 4 is... Ah! It reminds me why cinema and television can actually be exciting sometimes. We see gun battles, fires, ambushes, heroic rescues. Beautiful women and sex and religion. And it's supported by terrific acting, you know, beautiful music of Ennio Morricone, beautiful scenery, villas, fine art on the wall. What else would you want? It's so engaging that you really can't tear yourself away from it. This is not the Octopus 4. This is the Octopus 4.5 Extreme! When I saw Octopus 3, I felt that it was structured a little bit like uh, a Western, a classic American Western. So if I had to choose for this one, I would say it's structured like a tragic opera, an opera maybe in the style of uh, Puccini. You know, you have the over-the-top uh, characters, the villain, the innocent, and the crusader for good. And especially if you look at the last hour, then you have shades of uh, Othello and Desdemona and the huge uh, desperate cry coming out of uh, uh, Tano. It's all oversized, you know, it's all in the style of an opera. I noticed in season four that Corrado was different. I think he's tired. I think he's worn out, and I believe he's now coming to the conclusion that he is not invincible, and he senses his mortality. Poor Corrado, as Frollo says, povero commissario, he no longer has the energy to keep on fighting the good fight. He's wearing down. Quite honestly, Catani has changed. He's just, he's not gonna take it anymore. He's using the Mafia tactics against the Mafia, you know, where in essence, as we see in season four, the Mafia is willing to burn down an orphanage full of orphans. Well, Katani's ready to throw people out the window or at least slam their head in some broken glass to figure out where these people are. He's no holds barred. He's almost a, he's almost a loose cannon. And sure enough that the police are actually fine with that. He gets results. When I first saw the scene of Corrado's death. I was stunned. I couldn't move. I couldn't believe it. I didn't see it coming. I, I found the, uh, the final uh, death scene of uh, Katani to be very powerful. I, I kind of thought if you have to go, you know, this is the way that uh, Katani should die. He died in a hail of bullets, which he confronted. He didn't turn around as uh, the journalist Davide has, uh, has asked for him before. Quando verranno da te, fammi un favore, non scappare, anche a te non lo perdonerei. The first time I saw the whole Octopus series and saw series four and saw Corrado be assassinated, I was absolutely shocked. I gasped, I cried, it was just blew me away. The first time I saw the ending, I was just like, no, no, no! No, you can't do that. What is, oh, it's it's going to get up, right? He's okay, right? I mean, I was turning into the, you know, the, the characters of season four, sitting here looking at the TV going, ah, no, you can't do this. I had a combination of both. I felt victim. I myself turned into mid-80s Italian TV. I was in Turin, and I remember the last, last uh, part, the part of the four Sicilian in which... Uh, the commissaries uh, uh, get, got killed. The, 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 the town was really empty that night. Everybody was watching television. <laughs> Everyone was watching that, that part. And that part had in Italy, I think, a huge, huge, huge audience. One of the best audience in uh, Rai. Però, diciamo, la, per dirti com'era l'attesa, um, L'ultima puntata andava in onda di domenica sera. Nel pomeriggio io ho ricevuto una telefonata da una signora che mi ha detto guardi che se il commissario Cattani stasera muore io mi uccido. E io sono stato mezz'ora al telefono dicendo guardi signora 
Michele Placido è un uomo insomma, divertente, in questo momento sa al mare, cioè non, muore, non muore lui, muore un personaggio, che... però c'era veramente un'attesa fortissima su questa cosa. E la sera, quella, quella, la, 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 la sera della morte del commissario Cattani, la fiction Rai ha toccato la sua punta massima di sempre, nel senso che ha fatto più di 17 milioni, che significa che insomma tutta l'Italia stava vedendo questo programma era una cosa come da finale dei mondiali di calcio e... tant'è vero che la Rai il giorno dopo fece un cartello in cui ringraziava gli autori i regi... cioè comparve una cosa in cui si ringraziava insomma una cosa un po' strana ecco e... I am not surprised at all that all of Italy was watching this when it happened in the 80s that I'm sure they were big fans of the octopus because if th those of us in America who have seen this are big fans uh, and for them to like be glued to their television sets and would probably were just shocked as I was when it actually did happen. When he walks outside, he hears the door handle turn. He hears the click. And we know, he knows, his time has come. His time is up. And there's two guys on a bike just hanging out again. You know, just, you know, that should be warning enough, right? This is what happened last time when he lost his wife. And he looks at, and he just stands there and looks at everybody. Sono qua. He's presenting himself, even with his back against the wall, quite literally. You know, this is how poetic an, an execution can we get. He is against the wall. He's got nowhere to go, and he is surrounded. And they mow him down. They mow him down in machine gun blasts and he crumples against the uh, against the wall and f falls to the sidewalk blood and bullets on the wall behind him and I sit here and go I, I can't believe he's dead you can't do that man what is that reverse it and finally when uh, Silvia Conti uh, approaches him we have uh, for anybody who has uh, missed uh, the cues uh, until now uh, we have uh, a classic La Pietà if I ever saw one. It was terrible. I hated it. I was so sad. I sat there immobilized for a couple of minutes. Then I got up, went into another room, came back, and on the screen it said, there's more. Octopus season five begins next week. And I was startled. What can it possibly be? You may think this is the end. Well, this might be the end of Katani, but this is only the beginning. This is not the end of the octopus. It continues for many more seasons, in fact, with other heroes. Well, as you watch it, you know that uh, you realize that uh, the filmmakers uh, left some assets uh, for, for the next sequel, right? So the obvious uh, asset is Silvia Conti, who swears over his, uh, uh, the body of uh, Corrado. She swears that uh, she will pursue them to the end of the earth. And then we have uh, other assets uh, that are the villains. You know, Espinoza has uh, just uh, gotten away in his, uh, in his uh, helicopter, and Tano is still around. Even uh, Il Pupao is, uh, is still alive. So we have enough for next time.